Hey Jessers! Oh, sorry, let me do that. Hey Jessers! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today, I'm going to be doing another Topic Wednesday, and this week's theme is how to know what you want to do for your job in the future. So let's get Okay guys, and this is just a disclaimer that I say all the time when I do these videos is that these are just my opinions, my tips, and my advice. You don't have to listen to them, you don't have to follow them, they're just what I think. But, I just like to tell you guys just because. So, basically how to know what you want to do. First you have to have, find a hobby, and once you have that hobby, you can sort of relate it. Sometimes you can't though, some hobbies can't be jobs, but most hobbies you can relate into a job. Like let's just pretend you love to play basketball, you can become a basketball player. Because majority of the time, it's something that you are already doing a lot of your time. Like, if you do it a lot in your free time, you're going to find it hella fun to do, like, to make money doing that thing. Because if you already enjoy doing it making zero dollars, you're going to love doing it making money. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying it's about the money, but you do need money, in, you know, to live. So, you sort of do need to have a job. So that's one big, big, big tip. Another tip is find something where you know the schooling you have to go through and know if you want to actually go through with that. Because sometimes the schooling can be really difficult, hard, frustrating, you know, all those type of things. And it's just confusing. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes you don't want to do that. And if you're not going to put in the effort and the work to do do the courses that you have to take in order to get that job, then I don't think that job's worth it for you. Because you know that that's reality for some jobs. You have to do that. And more of the better jobs, you're going to have to do that. But there are still a good amount of jobs that you can do without that much schooling or any schooling. Like a YouTuber. That's a perfectly good job. It's really fun. But you really need schooling? No. Makeup artist, do you really need schooling? Not really. I mean, it's helpful to have schooling. So you can get better skills, but you don't really need it. And it's not going to take long. It's probably be like a year, maybe two years at the longest. So, yeah. But if you really want to be something, you're really going to put the effort in in order to do that um, schooling that you need to do. So that's another tip. And the third tip is just remember that is your decision. Like, it's all up to you and what you want to do. Don't listen to anybody else. Don't, even if your parents tell you, like, you shouldn't do that. No. Okay, we, okay, yes, they're your parents. Yes, they give you good advice. And maybe your family can do. But just because your family doesn't want you to do that as your job, does not mean you can't. You have to do something that you genuinely enjoy and you find fun. Because you want to be able to wake up every day and be like, yay, get to work. Not, oh, I have to work today. I mean, okay, yes, you're going to still have those days even if you love your job. Because it's just reality. And everyone is always like that when you have to do something every day. But you should more than so. I mean, sometimes it's hard because you're not always going to excuse me, going to get the job you want. But if you do get that job, your dream job, whatever your favorite thing you want to do, most of the time you're going to wake up being like, "Yay, I get to go to work today! I'm super excited!" And you're so pumped. I mean, you might not be that pumped because it might be early in the morning, but other than waking up early, you'll be so excited because you love what you do, and that is an amazing feeling. It's always so amazing to love what you do. Because then you're so excited to get up and do it and you're more passionate and you work harder and you are a better worker. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice. You're a better worker when you love what you're doing. Because when you're really passionate about something, you work harder and you're a better worker. And then a lot of people will like you better. And it also does depend on your coworkers and who you're working with, unless you're like self-employed. But if you're not self-employed and you work with other people, it also does depend on them. But it also does depend on you and how much you like the job too. Because if you like it more, you're going to be more happy to be there. You're going to be put more effort into the job. But also, if you don't like your coworkers, but you love the job, that won't go so well either. So you have to sort of like both. So, yeah. Those are my tips. Sorry this was such a short one. But yeah, those are just my big tips. You just have to remember what you love to do and try to make that into a job, into a career. Like if you love baking, become a baker. If you love, you know, cooking, become a cook. If you love to like, you know, Talk with customers, or if you love kids, become like a teacher or a daycare worker. There's all those type of things you can do. Or if you love seniors, work in a senior house. 
it might not be able to because you might not be able to like get the qualifications to do those jobs even though you love doing them you could also just do those things of volunteer work but it's better to have it as your full-time career because you don't want to be doing something you know you do more often because more of the time you're going to be doing your paid job more often than you will be doing any volunteer work so <clears throat> oh my god i'm really sorry about my voice anyway so yeah those are just my tips and the things you should keep in mind when you're looking for a job and yeah so if you guys enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to come and squeeze one bye gestures